And now he's looking to get an inning closer. A to pinch the end hitter. Of the game. Sorry, John, pinch hitter here, Kike Hernandez for Jack Peterson. Ball. He takes ball one. Just a quick note on that ball that Freddie Freeman hit that Mookie Betts caught. I was intrigued. I know we're not in L.A., but would that have been out of L.A. Dodger Stadium? And the answer we got back was no. Check swing oh. foul one on one. That according to the metrics of how far that ball would have went and velocity and launch angle and all those things that. You try to figure out. <laughs> Statcast doing it for you. Hernandez in this series, three for 11. Does have a home run. It's another guy who's had some big postseason moments. Seven career postseason homers on a 1 1. Ball. Takes high ball two. It's been a few days for Minter, but he threw 42 pitches. That was his longest outing since his final game at Texas AM when he tore his UCL. When Tommy John surgery. What a season he's having for the Braves. Big spot here. Finds the bottom of the zone with a fastball, and it's two and two. And having done this, people don't understand how when you go three innings and you haven't done that in a long time, how much it does empty the tank. Now the two days off will help, and hopefully for the Braves, the one inning that they are asking him to, I would guess, would be enough. Brings it 2 2. But I spent my entire life, 14 years as a starter, trying to go 8 and 9. Then when I went to the closers role, and then my fourth year of not starting, had to pitch in a playoff game the final three innings, I was gassed. And you wouldn't think there's no way that would be. You, you just can't, when you're used to a role of your sprints, relievers are in sprints. They come in, they do their job, they hope to do it multiple times during the week. That's what was so impressive about him throwing three innings the other the other night. Now another two two. Another foul ball but also I've heard you talk about in the biggest games in the postseason game sevens you just find a way even when you don't feel good like you find the second tank that yep. you've been to. But what you don't want to do and we've seen it in some epic battles whether it's the Chapman battle in Cleveland you don't want to force velocity when you're tired. The tendency sometimes is to force it. It's not natural and it doesn't go where you want it to go. So if you can stay away from force velocity, you're okay. And it spoils another. Next pitch will be the eighth. And that is not easily done because you just know that you need a little extra. And you try to hump up on it a little bit, and the next thing you know, it flattens out. And you make a mistake. Or you throw it in, in a location where you never intended it to go. So there's 42 pitches on Friday and seven pitches to the first man he faces here in game seven. Another 2 2. Hernandez hits one in the air. Left center field. This game is tied. the case in point right there it just was jumping out of his hand two days ago blowing it by the hitters Kike with an incredible at bat saw a lot of pitches and he smoked this baseball a pinch hit home run from Kike Hernandez 3-3 in the sixth inning well he got one in the middle in and he knew it absolutely knew it by the way, just the second pinch hit home run in game seven history. Troy O'Leary for the Cubs and a loss to the Marlins in the 03 NLCS. Now it's bats. 